just for once. Let me look on you with my own eyes. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 deaths of a beloved character from a long running movie series. You know, at times, I forget how much you've grown. At times, I still see the small boy from the cupboard. Well, for one thing, I'm not as guardian. And for another, we have a Hulk. Mm -hmm. I feel something. You feel it? Yes, I feel it. That's the force. Really? Wow, it must be really strong oh, of you. I've never felt any... Ow! For this list, we'll be looking at specific characters who lasted over the course of more than two movies in a series, but ultimately saw their demise. Major character deaths will be discussed, so a spoiler warning is in effect. Was there a notable death we missed from a film franchise? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Mr. Spock Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan Are you out of your Vulcan mind? No human can tolerate the radiation that's in there. As you are so fond of observing, Doctor, I am not human. For a show that only lasted three years in its original run, Star Trek has shown remarkable persistence and resilience. One of the most beloved characters from the original series and arguably all of Star Trek is that of Mr. Spock. Over three seasons, audience saw Spock go from an emotionless first officer to a fully fleshed out character full of flaws and weaknesses. The show ultimately turned into a film franchise, which gave us one of the most shocking deaths of the time. In a last-ditch effort to escape Khan's grip, Spock sacrifices himself to save the crew and his friends. I have been, and always shall be, your friend. We still get teary-eyed watching his hand on the glass against Kirk's. Live long and prosper. Number 9. Dumbledore, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince We need to get you to the hospital wing, sir. To Madame Pomfrey. Oh. No. Severus. Severus is who I need. Wake him. Tell him what happened. In a series as long-running as Harry Potter, it was expected that we would see at least one death of a major character. Whether you had read the books or only followed the movies, it was still a shocking surprise to find the headmaster of Hogwarts killed near the end of the sixth movie. I don't know why I avoided the Harry Potter books for so long. These are great. I just started number six. That's a good one. Dumbledore dies in that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't see it coming either. <laughs> It was an emotional ride for audiences as we'd all become enamored of this wise, if sometimes mysterious, mentor of Harry Potter. Please. How about a cadaver? <laughs> Thankfully, something like his spirit returned in the final film, and the prequel movies offer an opportunity to see his younger years. There's a story in my family that a phoenix will come to any Dumbledore in desperate need. They say my great-grandfather had one, and then it took flight when he died. Number 8. Han Solo, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens During one of the teaser trailers for Star Wars The Force Awakens, fans finally got to see the return of longtime favorite character Han Solo. Chewie, we're home. The scruffy-looking nerf herder had some gray in his hair and may have mellowed a bit, but he was still the same beloved Solo we remember. However, Harrison Ford finally got his wish granted as the character faced a terrible death at the hands of his own son, Ben, a.k.a. Kylo Ren. Ford had pleaded with George Lucas to have Solo die during The Empire Strikes Back. I argued for 30 years for this to happen. Right. And uh, finally, I... Uh... I wore him down. Apparently, it took the power of Disney buying out Lucasfilm to grant that request. Thank you. Number 7. Black Widow. Avengers Endgame. See you in a minute. Introduced in 2011's Iron Man 2, Black Widow started her journey in the MCU as an assistant to Pepper Potts. 
From there, we learned of her true purpose as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and then eventually watched her become an Avenger. Although fans expected to see some major character deaths in Avengers Endgame, hers was one that no one saw coming. Having been part of the franchise for so long, it was tragic to see her fall on Vormir. Mingo. No. Please, no. Not even Hulk's snap of bringing everyone back could save her. You know, I tried. When I had the gauntlet, the stones, I, I really tried to bring her back. I miss him, man. Me too. Thankfully, 2021 is giving us her much-deserved backstory through the new Black Widow movie. We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Still, though, it really hurt to lose her. Number 6. Laurie Strode, Halloween Resurrection I knew you'd come for me sooner or later. What took you so long? The horror franchise Halloween has seen its characters and timelines rewritten several times over the years. One staple of the film series has been Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode. Laurie was originally stalked by Michael Myers in the very first Halloween film released back in 1978. When 2002's Halloween Resurrection comes along, Laurie is stabbed by Michael as she hangs over the side of a building and then plummets to her death. Oddly, she kisses him and says, I'll see you in hell. At the time, viewers were shocked to see such a longtime character bite the dust. It's short-lived, however, as the more recent films have largely ignored all the sequels and kept her alive. Goodbye, Michael. Number 5. Loki – Avengers Infinity War The God of Mischief has had a very interesting arc over the course of the MCU. You really are the worst, brother. I assure you, brother, the sun will shine on us again. He's ping-ponged back and forth across the villain line more times than perhaps any other character in film history. It's the blurring of that line between hero and bad guy that made him such an alluring character for fans. He transformed himself into a snake and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it and he transformed back into himself and he was like, Yeah, it's me! And he stabbed me. We were eight at the time. After faking his death during Thor The Dark World, Loki finally met his match by his former boss Thanos during the opening minutes of Avengers Infinity War. You will never be a god. By that time, Loki had redeemed himself as a somewhat anti-hero, so hearing Thanos tell us No resurrections this time was hard to hear. Number 4 Ellen Ripley, Alien 3. What would you do if you had the embryo of an alien queen inside of you? What is it? Then you've got one inside of you. That's not possible. If you're Ellen Ripley of the Alien franchise, you throw yourself into a furnace to take out the evil creature. Over the course of three movies, we saw Ripley repeatedly battle and survive the onslaught of these face-hugging antagonists. She ultimately ended up being one of several recurring characters in the film series that didn't survive. Ripley was eventually brought back in the following film, but that didn't change the after effects of Alien 3. We used blood samples from Fiori 16 on ice where you died. We've remade you. We cloned you. The movie was critically panned and has since been disowned by the director. Number three, Logan slash Wolverine. Logan. I don't know what Charles put in your head, but I am not whatever it is you think I am, okay? Hugh Jackman earned himself a Guinness Book of World Record for portraying the character of Wolverine for 17 years. First appearing in the original X-Men trilogy, Jackman's portrayal of the clawed beast quickly became a fan favorite. The X-Men movies have been hit and miss among fans, but there's never been any doubt of the audience's admiration for the character of Wolverine. When Hugh announced that the movie Logan would be his last appearance as the character, fans hoped that the film would do the character justice. 
They don't. They'll keep coming and coming. You don't have to fight anymore. Thankfully, the movie was a critical and financial success and gave us a great send-off to a beloved Marvel character. Number 2. Luke Skywalker Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi I think what? I'm gonna walk out with a laser sword and face down the whole First Order? What did you think was going to happen here? The story of Luke Skywalker becoming a Jedi and defeating the Empire defined the original Star Wars trilogy. So when a new sequel trilogy was announced, fans were ecstatic to learn what Luke had been doing all this time. When we finally got to see him, he was a changed man who turned his back on all things Force-related. Thankfully, Rey brings him back into the fold and we see his final gift to the Rebels as he Force-projects himself to distract Kylo Ren. No. Strike me down in anger and I'll always be with you. Just like your father. Drained, Luke becomes one with the Force and this legendary Jedi is no more. It's a bit anticlimactic given how much time has passed, yet we still mourn the loss of this great hero. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mystique, X-Men Dark Phoenix. No amount of shape-shifting could have saved her. Caesar, war for the planet of the apes. He finally succumbs to his injuries. Darth Vader, Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Redeemed by Luke, but not in time to save himself. Tell your sister you are right. Father. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Tony Stark – Avengers Endgame Given the magnitude of what fans knew was coming with Avengers Endgame, there was already an expectation that major character deaths were on the table. When I drift off, it'll be like every night lately. I'm fine, totally fine. That didn't make it any easier to deal with the loss of Tony Stark. And I am Iron Man. Having been the character that kicked off the entire MCU, his death allows the story to come full circle. He may have sacrificed himself to save Earth, but that still doesn't lessen the blow to both his fellow superheroes and his family. We're gonna be okay. You can rest now. It's a death that continued to resonate even into Spider-Man Far From Home. A hero beloved by the world, gone but not forgotten. I love you 3,000. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.